Also, under this idea of maintaining interest, in which we've been talking about listening, we have to, uh, we should remember to relate the content to learner experience. This has to do primarily with adult learners. It, it, it applies anywhere. But it deals primarily, or mostly with adult learners because, as I said before, we all have experiences that we bring to the learning environment and we like people to acknowledge them and recognize them as important. And this is one way to do it also, but from a different angle. Okay, what we're doing here is trying to get the models that people have in their heads for other experiences that may relate to the one we have at hand and try to show how they relate to help people learn. Just called cognitive hooks. Okay. We're talking about building software. So a person's experience may have already been in building a house, for example, in engineering or architecture. We can pull out the similarities between the two processes to help people connect in their mind how one refers to the other. Now, I have another caveat here. Be very careful about the models you use. They should be appropriate to your audience. They should, ha they should be relevant to most people's experience. Um, and they should also mean something in, in the particular context. I like to give the, uh, the experience I had with somebody who was trying to explain to generals in the armed forces how the software development process was like a souffle. And if you've ever baked a souffle, I haven't, but I, from what I gather, it's got to be very precise, doesn't it? With so many beats and so much time, then you stick it in the oven, it's got to be just so long. How about popovers? Have you ever made popovers? <laughs> Do you know what popovers are? <laughs> You're not from Minnesota, obviously. Um, if you don't put popovers in the oven for such and such a time, you know, um, forget if it's 15 minutes, whatever, it's got to be very precise, otherwise they either burst or they, they collapse. And I guess the same thing happens to souffle, it doesn't rise. And I let this person go on and tell me exactly all the ways that baking this souffle was similar to the software development process. And it really made sense. And when he was done, I asked him, now you tell me how many of the people in your audience have ever been around a kitchen. I don't think that many of them, and if they have, they're not going to come out and say, oh yes, now I know exactly what you mean. That it's just like souffle, why last week I was baking one. You have to be very careful about the models you use. And when you use those models and metaphors that should be common to everybody, be able also to uh, restrict your metaphor. Okay? It is similar in these ways. It's not similar in these, and we won't touch those, but at least in these, it is similar. It's one of the problems we have nowadays in teamwork and team building. When we talk about teams, and of course, the first thing that comes to mind is football. We're trying to talk about teams and software development and software processes. Can't talk about those because they're similar in some ways, but they're very different in others. You don't hand off, you don't punt, right? And those are the things that people actually do. What, are the, what is the first thing you do? You have a kickoff meeting for a team. No, you don't. We're not kicking off anything here. We're collaborating. And in that respect, we're like a football team. We have to collaborate in order to be able to get moving across. We have to put our strategies in place. We have to get our plays going. But in other ways, we're not the same thing. We're not going to hit anybody over the head, right? And, and so whatever it is, Whenever you use models and metaphors, make sure that you restrict them to exactly the aspect of those that you're trying to use in that particular context. So if you're going to relate the content to the learner experience, make sure that it's very clear which ones you are referring to. See, for every pill I give you, I tell you how it's not going to work, just to remind you.